What is up guys, Grady here with Grady's Gear and today I got something special. Something I am really excited to share with you guys. I have the most <coughs> expensive knife I have ever handled and ever had featured on my channel right in front of you. Now, this guy comes from my friend Sean and many of you may know him as Gear Towards Gear. Now, I'm in, uh, <laughs> I rehearsed this like twice and I still fucked up. Anyways, let's get this going again. I met Sean through our Facebook group, Shadow Rangers. Now, if you guys are not familiar with Shadow Rangers, there's no questions. It's a group on Facebook. Um, Facebook. You don't have to ask anything to join. It's open to the public. Me and my buddy Kevin left the EDC, created that group. For us individuals who are into the hobby, but we don't take things so seriously, you know. Um, I do this for fun. This is not my job. I, uh, you know, I'm just enjoying it, guys. I get to be myself. If I mess up or anything like that, you'll hear me just like I did two seconds ago and I messed up saying Sean's name. It's the most simplest of things ever. But... I met Sean through there. A lot of YouTubers are part of that group. You know, we got, of course, we got me and Kevin. You got Kyle, DTO of Knives and Gear. You got uh, Jake, Bearded Gear. Them two guys are moderators. You got JB from Big Red EDC. You got uh, Sean from Gear Towards Gear. I mean, there's so many. Scott Big Boar Williams. There's so many uh, YouTubers on there. And we all just post pictures, videos. Uh, you can do whatever you want on there and we just talk about the stuff that we like to talk about and that's how I met Sean and The other day Sean had posted a picture of a sheer groff knife on his on the, the group and I Commented and said man one of these days. I'm gonna get one of those in to take a look at you know I just want to experience one it is way out of my comfort zone on Spending for a knife you know, and guys, I am a knife guy. I'm a gear guy. I'm on YouTube. It does not take much uh, convincing for me to buy a knife. It really doesn't. But my comfort zone for spending, my that three to five hundred dollar mark, really, really is my top out when it comes to that. I've broken that rule before, but that's just my comfort zone on where I'm at and. You know, these knives, <laughs> this knife is like a thousand dollar knife. Um, it is just at that point, it's not a knife purchase, it's a knife investment. And while I completely understand and uh, can see while, while, why, get it right, Chris, it's why. Holy shit, you can't speak today. Why? <laughs> I can understand why they're that expensive. Um, I just probably would never buy one for myself. I don't think I could justify that amount on a knife. Um, you know, and things may change. I say that and watch a year from now, I might have two of these. You never know. I mean, I remember a time when I said I would never buy a knife that was more than $150 and look how far I fell down that fucking rabbit hole. But <laughs> I digress. Anyways, it's an expensive ass knife. And Sean was like, dude, if you want me to send you one, I'll gladly send you one to check out. And I just want to give a huge shout out to Gear Tour Gear to Sean. He is not, uh, he does post videos, but he's like semi-retired. I wish he'd post more because his videos are absolutely fantastic. But uh, he did send this to me to check out, told me I could carry it and use it. Now, given the price point of this knife and it's not mine, I do not feel comfortable carrying it in my day-to-day, -day, you know, wife uh, taking it with me. I've carried it around the house. That's it. I've carried it around the house. He told me I could cut with it and carry it. And while I greatly appreciate that, if I were to in any way damage this knife, I would not only feel bad, but I would not be able to afford it. So, <laughs> um, that, you know, I've rambled on for almost five minutes about how expensive these things are. I do not know the model number of this Sean told me what it is and I have it saved in my phone but I didn't look it up before I started this video because I'm retarded oh I'm sorry I can't say that uh because I'm stupid but 
anyways, I don't know the model number of this, but let's just get into it. I've already been in five minutes and you guys just want to see the blade deploy. This is a big boy. I have to hold it all the way out so the camera can get it in. But this is definitely like a four inch blade on here, guys. This thing is just a monster, but it is so smooth. It does have M390 blade still on here, and this thing is a freaking guillotine. Watch this. I mean, that is just awesome. The first time I flipped this, I did not have my thumb right under here to where the flipper tab would catch it, and I almost sliced my thumb open. See that? Hit my fingernail. I mean, look at that. This thing is awesome. These knives are, I believe uh, the company is uh, in Russia, if I'm not mistaken. I don't necessarily follow them. I've seen them a lot on Instagram and stuff for years, um, but I don't uh, necessarily follow them just because it's one of those things, it's like I'll never own one, so I don't know why, why I'm gonna follow that. But, uh, th I mean, these knives are definitely like the Ferraris of the uh, knife world. I can see the appeal behind them. Uh, they're just more, at, at this price point for me, uh, in my personal opinion, it's more like functional art. You know, yes, this will cut stuff. It'll do everything that you need it to do, but it's also an art piece. And uh, I would probably start, con you know, treating this more like an art piece i would be devastated if anything were to happen to it so um because of that it's just not my fancy <laughs> it doesn't tickle my fancy but this thing is absolutely gorgeous as you can see the, their logo right here is like a little bear looks really cool that milling that they do on here is just fantastic and this is like a bronze i want to say I mean, look at the milling on the pocket clip, guys. This is gorgeous. I will say, when I put this in my pocket, the pocket clip is ridiculously stiff. It takes me two hands to get this in my pocket, and then when I yank up, it kind of pulls up on my pocket to get it out of my pants. And they did not waste any blade space, guys. Look how close that blade comes. I mean, I can, right there with the meat of my thumb, I can feel that blade. They wasted no blade space on here this is a full-size knife and it takes up the entire handle on here but this flipper i mean this thing rockets out of there guys i mean just doing that i could do that all day long oh it is awesome guys definitely if you have the money to spend on something like this go for it um i mean these are, the quality is there. I'm not going to deny it at all. The quality is there. Um, you know, most of the models, I think they're all like numbered or something like that because it was like F something or another. He sent me a few uh, pictures of different ones that he had. And this is the one I went with. It was just the most aesthetically pleasing to me and my taste. Um, but uh, the weight on this, it is a chunky son of a bitch. I will say that. Um, but in the pocket, because of how slim, uh, how slim line this is, it's not that bad at all. And that blade is huge. It's more than what I would need for my EDC task. I mean, I would definitely fuck up some Amazon boxes with this thing, but it's just more than what I would need. I don't need a four inch blade. I mean, look at this in my hand. Look how big that blade is in my hand, guys. I mean, whew. this is a big old boy. It's so big that I feel like I gotta like stretch up my thumb to get let it hit the jimping because my thumb wants to land here but i have to like push it way out here i don't know if because i got you know smaller hands or what i mean i wear a large size glove and i mean it fits great in my hand this is just a long ass blade on here i really do like it though i mean oh i love doing that but yeah guys i just wanted to share this with you this was something that was unexpected i what I never thought I'd have something like this on my channel. Uh, I've been enjoying carrying it around the house because, like I said, I just it's not mine. And I, I, if I were to do something to this, I would feel so bad. <laughs> and uh, I, I couldn't do that to Sean. Um, huge, uh, huge shout out to Sean, by the way, guys. I mean, I know I just got done talking about him, but um, there's a lot of 
perks uh, on YouTube and stuff like that. But for me, the biggest thing for me that has been uh, the greatest gift of all, all the friendships that I've made and relationships that I've made with guys that don't even know me. You know what I mean? Uh, it's, it's been absolutely nothing less than amazing. I, I can't express it enough. These guys, I mean, Sean's sending me a thousand dollar knife to check out with, and we just met the other day online. You know what I mean? On Facebook. So to me, that is just awesome. It's a great community. That is one of the greatest things about the knife community, the EDC community, some of the most generous people you will ever meet on there. And <clears throat> I'm just thankful to be a part of it. But this knife is really cool. It's just way out of my comfort zone for price, but very, very cool. Again, quick shout out to Sean. I know he's not on YouTube as much, guys, but please go and subscribe to him. It doesn't hurt. Just go and subscribe to Sean. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This was um, kind of a last minute thing. I was filming some other stuff today. I wasn't planning on doing this video. I know I fucked up a lot and I said the word I probably shouldn't have said on YouTube or whatever, but uh, and I apologize for that. But anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day and I'll see you guys in the next one.